Ah, joy. Another wagon full of clockwork minstrels. Less luck went for scrap only yesterday. His lordship does love his chamber music. Now, the best thing about being stuck here in Chateau de Steel is being away from that insipid noise. Why do you think I volunteered for this duty? Well, then I do have something to thank them for, my most charming jailer. <laughs> Why do you serve his lordship? Why do you filch other people's treasures? It was something to do. Oh, don't start with that. What? Your bored little rich boy routine. You have wealth and lands. Somehow you have nothing to do, so we should feel sorry for you. It's nauseating. You did ask the question. Because I was foolish enough to expect an intelligent answer. Not that cliched tripe. Look here, Count. Ninety percent of the people in the world would kill to have your troubles. They'd kill to be facing execution? You know what I mean. Yes, my dear Sergeant Mayhew. And I wish I could answer you straightly. The truth is that I... I don't know the answer. I suppose I wanted to let his lordship know I was here. You have a quarrel with him? No, not particularly. But I felt this urge for significance. Here we go again. Well, you couldn't comprehend it, Sergeant. Useful person that you are. Not for a minute in my life have I been of use. Every decision's been made for me. From the schools I've attended to the woman I'm to marry, Baroness Morgan DeLint. Formidable name. Break your heart, did she? No, I've never even seen her. Yet our wedding would have been in two weeks' time. The final seal upon my insignificance. And now you're about to be significantly hanged. How proud you must be. Oh, make no mistake. I was never suicidal. I thought I'd have a fine to pay, or, or at worst, a, a short prison sentence. Never dreamed they'd hang me. Or Dane doesn't suffer thieves gladly, I fear. No, I wrote to the good Baroness, asking her to ransom me. No reply? Not a word. That tells me all I need to know about her. Don't give yourself up for lost yet, Count. Fate may yet take a hand. <laughs> Trying to comfort me, Sergeant? Oh, I find a certain justice in the thought of you married to Baroness Morgan de Lint. <laughs> Here they are. Thank heaven. All that silence was starting to depress me. And what a good-looking lot. Indeed, sir. Let's see. What shall we hear? Violin? Perhaps later. Mandolin doesn't quite suit my humor. Harp? Now I ask those idiots not to send me any more harpers. I'm sick to death of the harp. Shall I have them sent back, sir? No. Scrap them. Money out of those simpletons' pockets. Ah, now here's an interesting thing. A fine old medieval loot. Look at the workmanship broom. Oh, very impressive, sir. And well turned out, this one is. Brocated blue velvet gown. Golden ringlets. And look behind the metal mask. Deep azure eyes. Whoever threw this one together was certainly paying attention to his work. Switch this one on. Let's hear her. Very good, sir. Good day, sir. What would you like to hear? <laughs> cutting, cutting. That never gets old. I can play 389 songs and sing in six languages. What would you like to hear? Do you come equipped with a name? Yes, sir. What is it? Bridget, sir. Shall I play a song for you? Is there one song you prefer to the others? Prefer, sir? Sir, she's clockwork. Be still, Broom. They can sometimes surprise you. I believe I prefer the willow tree, sir. I think I play it particularly well. There. You see, you can't always tell with these mechanicals. Some genius at the shop tinkers with their sprockets and suddenly they have preferences. Go on, then, Miss Bridget. Play the willow tree. Oh, take me to your arms, love, for keen the wind doth blow. 
Oh, take me to your arms, love, for bitter is my deep woe. She heeds me not, she hears me not, nor will she listen to me. While I lie here alone to die beneath the willow tree. I must find out who worked on this one. I need to know what he did to it. Has my performance displeased you, sir? No, I mean, of course not. In the days when human minstrels played in the courts of kings, when one of them impressed the monarch, he would say, Name your prize. I wonder what you'd do if I said the same to you. Name your prize, sir? Uh, sir, I don't think... Nobody that... asked your opinion, Broom. What is the tower our carriage took us past as it brought us here? Attaway Prison, Miss Bridget. My prize would be to play in the shadow of Arroway Prison, so the ones inside could hear me. Why should you ask a thing like that? Because they cannot come here, sir. I see. And everyone should have their chance to be blessed by your music, is that it? Yes, sir. Sounds like they've added vanity to the works. <clears throat> Broom, tomorrow afternoon, please escort Miss Bridget to the prison grounds. Oh, but, sir, this is highly... Oh, very well, sir. <laughs> The seventh round is mine. <laughs> Blast. I thought I had you that time. You'll never beat me at slow hand down, Count. Before I die, Sergeant, I'll beat you ten rounds over. This game requires insight into an opponent's mind. That's not one of your stronger suits, sad to say. Oh, soon I shall quite shock you with my hidden depths. Sort of hidden... What's a mechanical doing out there? And how's it playing like that? Oh, hangman, stay your hand And hold it for a while I think I see my father coming Riding many a mile Riding many a mile How odd music that doesn't nauseate me. Oh, father, have you gold? And can you set me free? Or have you come to see me hanged high on the gallows tree? High on the gallows tree. I have brought no gold and cannot set you free. But I have come to see you hanged High on the gallows tree High on the gallows tree Sounds as if she knows your situation. Uh, n no, d don't stop. Uh, don't. Uh, uh, you there. Broom. Ah, good day, Mayhew. Ask him to wind it up again. The good Count respectfully requests that you wind the mechanical again. You would like to hear more. Since when do Lord Dane's men take requests from thieves? I am not wound down. Uh, then uh, why don't you finish the song? It has two more verses left. So that you will listen when I come again tomorrow. Who says you're coming back tomorrow? For clockwork, you're awfully high-handed. As clockwork... I am nothing if not consistent. If my playing pleased Lord Dane today, it will again tomorrow, and I will be granted leave to play here. <laughs> oh, Miss Mechanical. Oh, if I had a penny, I'd toss it at you. Why would you do that? Oh, I've read that in the old days, listeners would reward musicians with coins. Never did understand why, but hearing you, I can almost get it. Who taught you to play like that? I am built to play 139 songs, sir. You must have noticed that the other clockwork minstrels don't sound like you. They play as their works dictate, sir. 
as I do. We'll be moving along now, I think. Wait, wait uh, what, what's your name? Bridget, sir. Come along. Very funny, that. I always thought mechanicals never spoke unless spoken to. Perhaps it's an innovation. Eh? The shops sometimes try out innovations on Lord Dane. They know he's interested in such things. Odd sort of innovation, isn't it? I mean, who wants an automaton rattling on at you about any old thing it pleases? Also, when it was playing, I, I thought I heard... Yeah, but then I couldn't have, could I? I'm surely imagining things. What? Well, well, I thought I heard it... I thought I heard it make a mistake. I tell you, Broom, I wish I knew the word for it. Perfect, sir. Indeed. Perfect. And yet it was bad. Bad, sir? Yes, bad, flat, empty, dull. It sounds just like all the other clockworks playing, sir. Exactly. Just like all the rest. Except the wench with the loot. She's different. Yet the very, for the very life of me, I can't put my finger on it. I hear no difference, sir. I do not recall asking your opinion, you tone-deaf imbecile. Oh, that's an idea, yes. An idea. Go and fetch our innovative clockwork, Bridget. Yes, sir. Sir, now, 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 stop that, stop that. Thank God Broom didn't hear me. Here she is, sir. Very good. Now wind her up. We may just solve this mystery here and now. Good morning, Miss Bridget. I trust you slept well. Slept, sir? Never mind. A poor joke. Is pretty sorrow in your works? It is, sir. Play it for me. Yes, sir. Now sing the words. Down in some green valley in a lonesome place Where the wild birds do whistle and their notes do increase Farewell, pretty Sarah, I'll bid you adieu But I'll dream of pretty Sarah wherever I go. She sings those words as if she understood them. That's how she's built, sir. Uh... Quiet room. It's not the same. That one played the same tune just a few minutes ago. Then you played it. It's not the same. Did I not match it, sir? You surpassed it, my dear. And you're not supposed to do that. How does one surpass perfection? Can there truly be perfection in music, sir? Your pardon? Music is a human endeavor, is it not, sir? Something of the human soul, something of imperfection, must lie at its heart. What model are you? 17-2-33, a brand new design, just off the line. No surprise there. Did the fellows at the shop ever speak to you about yourself? They said I was built to be interesting, but no one has ever told me what that means. I see. So, Miss Bridget, again your playing has pleased me, and again I offer you a reward. What'll it be? To play under the prison as yesterday, sir. Is not tomorrow execution Wednesday? That's right. Do you have any prisoners to be executed, then? Just one. A gentleman thief from Pendagraria. Probably thought I'd just wink at his sticky fingers. When the floor drops from under him, he'll see how wrong he was. If it is acceptable, sir, I would like him to be brought down into the yard to hear me up close and to talk to me if he likes. What? Sir, you're not going to agree I to that. What's your opinion, Broom? It shouldn't matter. As long as he's kept under guard... Very well, my dear. Make the scoundrel's laugh this afternoon a pleasant one. He'll suffer all the more when we slip the rope around his neck. Oh, hang 
woman stay your hand and hold it for a while I think I see my brother coming riding many a mile riding many a mile Now there, I know I heard a mistake that time Oh, brother, have you gold? And can you set me free? Or have you come to see me hanged High on the gallows tree? High on the gallows tree? I have brought no gold And cannot set you free but I have come to see you hanged High on the gallows tree High on the gallows tree uh, Wait, wait now no, don't stop again. There's another verse left. For you to hear tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow. My dear Miss Mechanical, by this time tomorrow, I'll be past hearing anything. You sing of my predicament, yet you can't comprehend it. Mayhew, how long's it been since human beings were permitted to play music? A uh, good hundred and fifty years, I think. Then no one's alive who remembers what it sounds like. When I start to listen to you, I imagine it sounded a lot like your playing. I hear those lyrics and think... What do you know about hanging high on the gallows tree? Can you understand what it means to fear death? You have no right to sing that song! Oh, don't mind him, clockwork. It's getting close now, and you know he's just getting fearful. Oh, for God's sake, Sergeant! Don't try to explain. It can't fathom it. It never will. It's just scrap iron! Are you sorry for what you did? Uh, uh, what? Are you sorry for what you did? <sighs> Of course I'm sorry. Sorry I wasn't clever enough to get away with it. Now, the general has his precious little statue back, and I shall lose my life. Hardly a fair exchange. But when you take something that is not yours, you are taking away a little piece of someone else's life. That is how I have heard it explained. Do you recall everything you hear? I am built for that. Another mockery. Memory without understanding. You are the one who cannot understand why stealing is wrong, sir. Oh, take that thing away! Right. Come along now, mechanical. What do you miss most? <laughs> what? About your liberty. About your home. You see that gate? I miss being able to walk through it. He's lying. What he truly misses is contract fiancé. Baroness Morgan Delint. How he dreams of her rosy lips and apple cheeks. You know, you'll miss me when I'm gone, Sergeant. You ask too many questions, Mechanical. I have been told so, sir. Well, then why do it? Because I want to understand. Questions were built into me. The trouble is that the answers make no sense. <sighs> I could almost feel sorry for you. But he's too busy feeling sorry for himself. You know, one good thing will happen when that floor drops tomorrow. I'll be free of shrews, clockwork, and otherwise. Tell me, mechanical, do I strike you as especially likable? Likable, sir? Do you understand the term? I think so, sir. You mean, would I find pleasure in your company? That's it? No, sir. Hmm. But then, perhaps a man in your position cannot be at his best. If I had met you under other circumstances, I might find you likable indeed. Let's move on, clockwork. Uh, 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 wait, wait. Uh, stay a moment. What other circumstances? If you were not so afraid, not because you are about to stop working, but because you do not understand how you work or why. Stop playing and move along now. Mr. Broom here gets sulky sometimes, because no one ever asks him what he thinks of anything. He's Lord Dane's secretary. He's been trained to not have opinions. You want my opinion? 
I think his lordship should write to the shops and demand they stop their ridiculous innovations. Now let's go, clockwork! Goodbye, Count Walter Force. I will see you once more. Move! Poor broom. Think yourself afraid of that mechanical. <laughs> well, she'd scare me witless. Uh, if I weren't about to be hanged. Six more hours to go. You should drink that potion. It's easier if you sleep. Why are you awake, Sergeant? Oh, the damn tune about the gallatries in my head. <laughs> you do, huh? Can't stop thinking about it. I've had to stop myself from humming it several times. Just why are humans forbidden to hum or sing or, or play music? Not sure. Perhaps because humans make mistakes. Somebody got it into their head that music should sound the same every time. Uh, I don't think that's it. There's a very old poem, written over 300 years ago, I think. It calls music an intoxicant. And let the world be full of notes to make me drunk. Mm. When I think of that clockwork girl and her lute, I almost understand it. It must have built her to play and sing like a human. Bit uh, risky, isn't it? Who wants an audience full of drunkards? Well, somebody at the shops must have read that old poem, wondered what it would be like. <sighs> there was a woman who uh, worked for my family once. The first crush? <laughs> Not exactly. I was only five when she, uh, when she left. She would look after me in the afternoons. She used to make these strange sounds. She'd hold me close, rock me in her arms, making those sounds all the while. It feels so... <sighs> Bloody hell, I can't even think of a word for it. Such a, a rush of feeling. Love, you might call it. I don't know why. I've, ne I've never known why. But I'd never felt like that before. And I haven't since. What happened to her? She was taken away. Some little weasel of a footman went to the authorities and told them she'd been singing. Which was a lie. Those sounds were nothing like that clockwork cacophony. What were they like? I... Can't remember. It's bone deep inside me, yet I can't call it back. When I hear that mechanical play, I, I almost remember... Then it slips away again. That's what I miss most. That's what I wish I had again. Those sounds. This is an odd request to watch a man hang. I want to understand dying. You think this would enlighten you? Not completely, but it might carry me some distance forward. I had heard executions were more crowded than this. They usually are, for murderers or coach robbers, not for petty thieves like Walter Force. Petty? Was it petty what he stole? A cheap gold-plated wax statue. If you value it not, why hang him over it? As an example. It would not seem to be much of an example, sir, if so few people are here to see it. He didn't take that statue because he wanted it. He was out to make a fool of me, for sport. But he did not make a fool of you. And you still have your statue. So why hang him? So he won't do it again. The scoundrel actually looks dignified. Indeed, Bruce. I expected he'd whine every step of the way. Strange. How some weaklings become men at the, at the last when they face death. Any last words, Count? I have plenty. But I'll keep them to myself. Why, look who's here. Greetings, clockwork. 
what you're about to see may answer a few of your questions. Oh, hangman, stay your hand and hold it for a while. I think I see my sweetheart coming, riding many a mile, riding many a mile. Oh, sweetheart, have you gold? And can you set me free? Or have you come to see me hanged high on the gallows tree? High on the gallows tree. I have brought you gold, and I can set you free. And I've not come to see you hanged High on that gallows tree High on that gallows tree Interesting choice of song, my dear. Oh, just drop the floor, will you? Lord Dane, sir, what would you give me for the song I just sang? What would you have? That man's life. I have heard that traditionally, a woman might save a condemned man from execution by claiming him as her husband. Let me have that right. <laughs> Great Lord Mechanical, what would you do with a husband? I do not know. I shall figure it out. Why, uh, why? It may have something to do with having a strong pair of arms to carry parcels back and forth while I visit the shops. That's it exactly. And. Someone to keep me properly wound, and my joints sufficiently oiled. That too. And someone to tell me each night how pretty I look, whether he means it or not. Someone to play the slave to my queen. Someone whose existence will revolve around my every whim. You really ought to let her have him, sir. They quite deserve one another. I don't recall asking your opinion, Broom. But, as it happens, you're right. Sergeant Mayhew, bring the man down. Come along, Count. Broom, be so good as to fetch a parson. It'll be good to see the back of you, Clockwork. I'll soon be back to normal. You... you would do this for me. Why? A man with an ear for music should not lose his life over such a little thing. You think I have an ear for... No. No. You can't feel. You're a mockery. A joke. I won't have you. Let me be hanged instead. You prefer death, do you? To being the bridegroom of a minstrel machine? If all life has to offer me is this... Th th this fool's gold, I'm better out of it. Be still, you idiot. You've just escaped the hangman, and what are you getting instead? An ageless, golden-haired bride to sing sweet songs to you? I swear so many men would kill to have your problems. They can have them! How miserable you look. Why shouldn't I? You're alive, aren't you? You've been rescued. I never asked to be rescued. Ah, uh, but you did. Just when? When you wrote to your fiancé asking her to ransom you. What? Are, are you about to spy on people now? Have you ever wondered what's hidden behind our masks? Yeah, a lot of wires and hardware, I expect. It's time you learned the truth. Take off my mask. Find out what makes me tick. I'd as soon do without that. If you don't look at my works, you'll never understand your own. Balderdash. Do it! Uh, um, all right. Uh, all right. Uh, how bad can it be? Oh my god. Dear god. I... betrothed? Not really. You don't have to marry me. But you might find you want to. I... I never imagined. Once you put on the mask, nobody asks questions. I'm surprised people don't impersonate clockwork more often. <laughs> don't fancy I dared all for you, my sweet. I thought it was high time people remembered what music is supposed to sound like. 
Yes, I, I see that. That sound. That strange sound she made. I remember it now. She was singing. <laughs> yes. No wonder I've never been able to endure a clockwork melody. <laughs> you understand your works a little better now. Indeed. I think I do. I understand music. Perhaps one day I will understand you. I hope so. Shall I teach you to play the lute? <laughs> I'd love it. Thank you.